Hello, welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to show a map and then pinpoint some part in this map. So here I have a simple video because I wanted a clip with some room on the side. And I have a map of France, so I'm going to use that. You can see it's quite uh, big, so we're going to transform add transform to change its size. If you don't have it in your favorites, you can look for it in the effects here. Um, so it's going to be like smaller, but not that small because you still want to see it. And that looks good. And then we want it to appear because it's kind of uh, sad if it just like shows up. So to do this, we're gonna add some blur. So I already looked for it. I'm gonna add box blur because I want to take advantage of the transparency. And I'm gonna make two keyframes. One here, for example, that's gonna be at zero blur. And the first one is gonna be at a higher blur. I'm also gonna change the opacity at the same time. So I'm gonna go back to this second keyframe here, add a keyframe on the transform this time. Go back to the first one and change the opacity to zero. And I might also change it to be smooth on both of these. Let's see how that looks. That's nice. I wish it had some more uh, movement, so I'm gonna change the transform a little bit. So size is gonna be down a little at the beginning, and then I'm gonna just add another keyframe here. Uh, that's gonna be the exact same as this one, but it's gonna help, like here it's gonna bounce a little, which is gonna make it more natural. Nice. So now we have our map. The next thing we want to do is pinpoint something. So I'm gonna use this uh, thing that I made. I made it to be uh, the same color as her shirt. Okay, so here we're gonna have to animate it again and I'm actually gonna use a composition this time. So a composite and transform transition because I want it to move at the same time when I will do the second part. So right now I just want it to be way smaller. Maybe like even smaller. <laughs> It needs to fit in the map, I think, else it will look a bit weird, maybe like 18%. Yes. And I will point it on Paris, because it's the capital of France, yes. And I'm gonna add a keyframe again here, because that's the final place. And at the first one, I'm gonna make it smooth, and I'm gonna make it 1%, because I want it to grow. And I'm not gonna leave it where it is, I'm gonna actually point it on Paris again, so that the point stays in the same place. Uh, I can even zoom in a little to see what I'm doing better here. And yes. And now it seems to grow from Paris. So I think that looks nice. And then we want it to disappear. So I'm actually going to add a composition on the bottom track. Because then when you do something with a composite that's under another one, it's gonna move both at once. I don't know if that's clear. Um, wait, I'm gonna first put that on composite. And I'm gonna move it. And you'll see that both the tracks move at the same time. Let's put it back to the center. But if I move the transform from here, only this one moves. So yeah, that's why we're doing it with composite. So at the end, it will disappear. Um, so one frame normal, then actually another frame normal to make it even smoother, and then another one where it's gonna go to the right. Okay. And then it goes out. I think that's good. That's pretty much all you need. Of course, you could like decide to make it move in in the same way that it moves out or the other way around or like just play with it, you know? So yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, more of this coming. Bye-bye.